is everyone doing? It's your girl, Luna. We're here and I'm going to be going over something called the Sims 4 Tray Importer. This is a little item that you can use to help you pinpoint broken mods, broken CC, and also duplicates. That is what I mainly use the Sims 4 Tray Importer for. I will put the link down below where you can download this and how you can get it. And I'm gonna show you some basics of how I use it. So when you download and install the Sims 4 Tray Importer, you will get a little green um, icon that will go on your desktop. You can get the 64-bit one or the other version of one, but it'll ask you all of those when you download said tray importer. So what the tray importer is, this application allows you to upload or download some Sims 4's content from houses, lots, Sims, or rooms. You can do from or into your library. It will also allow you to promote your creations not only in your own gallery, but also on blogs, websites, or even on the site Lunaverse Sims. Um, that is the creator of the tray importer and even better it allows you to change the pictures of your creations and you can take a look at the tutorial from the link that I put down in the description and go on for there like I said we're just gonna go into the basics of what I'm using it for and that is to get rid of duplicate mods or CC's um, in my game mainly CC's so when you first get in this is what it looks like Okay, so it seems like a lot, a lot of stuff is going on here um, and stuff like that, but we're gonna go through um, the top section here. So you can sort through households, lots, rooms, and then all of them all together. Um, and we are gonna go ahead and sort through just our households. This is a sim that I created very quickly for a gameplay that I was doing and I needed a guy specifically for something and just threw something together. So when you get up here, you're gonna see the picture, you're gonna see when it was created, who was created by, your description, everything that you pretty much put in the Sims, and it even has their family size and money count over to the right, and then the different pictures so you can see what it is that they're into and their personalities and et cetera, et cetera. So then from general, you're gonna to go to files. So this is the trays that you can get the tray importer, like say if you were to wanted to give this sim to someone else, these are these things that show up in your folder in the Sims 4, that is your tray folder. And then the next one is CC. This is the section that it shows all of the CC that you're using, what isn't installed, et cetera, et cetera. You're probably looking here to try to figure out what are all these colorful dots? What are they? They must mean something. What is going on? So in the bottom right hand corner, you have a rainbow of dots, similar to what we see underneath the CC tab. So the red one is not installed. The orange is duplicate. Yellow is override, which is optional. The green is custom paths, external. The blue is installed. The purple DLC is not installed. And the gray is extras, which is also optional. So as we're going here, I'm specifically looking for a situation where I have duplicate CCs. Duplicate CCs can hurt your game. It can also slow down your game because it's trying to pick between the two. So as you can see here, I'm looking for the orange. So there's two things that you need to think about when you are looking at the orange. What I like to do is I like to keep another one of my mod folders open so I can actually go through and actually find said mod that I'm looking for. So in this case, you also have to make sure that it's not um, an item that is a version one or version two. I had a duplicate Technically, it wasn't a duplicate because it was a hair color in one palette and then they made a second version, but it was a different color palette. So it had two different um, boxes when I want to use them. So one of them had like all pastels and then the second one had a version two, which had like all brunettes or etc. And so those technically were not duplicates. It was up to me to actually search for it in my folder and figure out why is it calling it duplicate? Is it really a duplicate 
or in that situation. And sometimes you need to look and make sure you don't have the same item, but it has a different spelling. That has happened as well. And sometimes those are duplicates. It could have been an update and the modder just didn't keep the same spelling because usually when you drag and drop it your computer should be asking you do you want to get rid of the other one that's in there and that would make it easier but if they are changing the spelling then you're going to end up with duplicates in your folder and that can throw things off as well so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to show you how i split up my screen and so how i like to find everything there is something that you can do um, when you find a duplicate here um, you can right click and it can show containing folder and then what will pop up is it will show you where that item is now sometimes it doesn't um, show you where all of the other items is it just takes you to that one item but i actually want to pull up all of the duplicates because i want to make sure i'm not having an issue to where they actually are separate items or not but i kind of know why they're duplicates and i know i will be getting at least rid of one of these because as you can see here this says redhead sims head scalp slider and over here under the location section it says titus rodrigo malik Marcel, Emmanuel, Bryce, and then there's another Titus. The reason is these are alpha skin CCs. And not only are they sin skins, they are full Sims that were made under CC by one creator. So Titus was also made by the same creator that made Rodrigo and also the same creator that, set, that made Malik and Marcel, Emmanuel, and Bryce. So they are all visually different skins, but they did use the same head scalp slider and um what is this other one trap slider fixed different skins but they use some of the same detailing on each of them so it put the same item in my game multiple times because all i did was copy and paste the entire folder over instead of picking just the skin that i would want so if you don't know that you're going to have multiples in your game that you don't even realize. All right. So what I've done here is I've pulled up my mod folder and I have my tray importer over here on the other side. So what I'm going to do is I like to see what it's completely called all the way. And in my entire Sims 4 mods folder, I'm going to search up exactly the title of what that is and figure out where it is coming from. And we have to do it exactly or we'll not find it. Okay, that should all be it. So it says that I have this head scalp slider on Titus Rodrigo, Malik and Marcel and Emmanuel. So I have five of them all together in my game and I don't need all five of them because you can see they're literally a mi minutes apart because I got them the same day. So what I normally do is I just go ahead and keep the one that is the most recent. I um, hold down my control button and then I right click and then what I'm gonna do is delete it. So as those delete, I go back in and I check that there is only one of those in and now there's only one and they are all using the exact same one and like i said you can tell by the time that i put them in they all fall under the same category so i put them in literally in that same amount of time now we're going to go to the next one that n-a-r-c-i-c-c underscore t-r-a-p-s all right so it looks like i have two of these in the same situation um just minutes apart because they're from the same creator and they're from two different um sims that are using the same item in this case we only have one and then i'm gonna go ahead and delete that one now this could take a while to do this if you go through and go to your different sims or households etc etc but if you have a situation that's very similar to um, you get a sim like this, if you go across and you find a sim 
that is completely broken up like I think a lot of those a lot of us that UCC has happened um what I did was I was going through and I was creating a sim and I noticed that I had CC broken so I specifically created this sim now she is called broken CC sim I will only use her when I come across broken CC so when I come across broken CC I actually go ahead and save her to my gallery Oh, well, not my gallery, my folder. I save her to my library. So then I can exit the game, come into my tray importer, and then find those items and take them out. And these items have since been taken out of my game. They're just showing up still because I still have her actually saved in my library. I haven't taken her out. Um, but that's another way that you can do it. If you run across broken CC, put all of the broken CC on a specific sim, save it to your library, exit out the game, come over to your tray importer, go straight to the CC and then find them. And that CC is taken out of the game. And now that problem is solved. So we're going to go back down here. I think we had another sim that had a couple of duplicates. That we're gonna check out all right so we have another section here they use the same eyebrows on marcel bryce and marquise but they are completely different skins but i don't need all three of these eyebrows in here now i as i said before i did have a situation where i had two different eyebrow not two different eyebrows but i had two different hairs in my inventory and i was looking a little bit deeper and when I was looking, it had a version one and version two. It has the same coding, the same setup. They did have different names, but the tray importer did recognize, no, technically this is the same item. The only difference was version one was a different color. Version two had different colors. So those I actually just ignored because they are technically different. One thing that you can do, um, some of the CC items do have pictures with them. So sometimes you can click on them and see where they are. Um, now, those of you that I was telling you um, that when I go over to my location over here and it says Emmanuel and Rodrigo, this is what I mean by it's different skins. So these were the different skins, but they were using like the same eyebrows um, the same face slider, etc., etc. Um, that's what I mean by they were, they were custom skins. Um, and, but they were using similar items that I didn't need multiple of in my folder. So I hope this helped you in the little section of how we use the tray importer to find duplicate items of CC. Like I said, you can um, sort them out in different sections. If you know if it's a house item, if you know it's a household item, et cetera, et cetera. Um, if you want to learn how to do anything else with Tray Importer, please comment and let me know down below. I specifically just wanted to show you how you can get duplicates out of your game, what to look for, and an easy way to make sure that you are exactly grabbing the duplicates because you don't want to accidentally take something out and then um, you have to go back into your game and it's not there. But keep in mind when you do delete something, always check your trash can in your computer on your, I usually always keep a trash can on my desktop. If you do accidentally delete something, don't completely empty your trash can out yet because once you do that, you cannot get it back. But when you go into your trash can, if there, you did delete something you didn't mean to, you can click on a hit restore and it will go back into the file location where you took it from. So I hope this was really helpful. Again, I will leave the link for Trey Importer down below in my description, as well as my Luna Galaxy um, tag that you can find me in the gallery. And don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, hit that little bell so you don't miss any of the next videos. And don't forget that if you want to officially become a Lunatic member, you can become a member as low as $2.99, get custom emotes and so much more perks of being a lunatic here on YouTube. So I love and appreciate you guys. Let me know how you're playing The Sims and how you're cleaning up those mod folders. Have a good rest of your day or night wherever you are. And this is Luna, Galaxy out.